This is Don DiBartolo, a senior commodity broker and market strategist with Daniels Trading in Chicago. I'm also the trader behind the Trade Spotlight Advisory Service. Trade Spotlight is broken into three segments, uh, but it's one advisory. We've got the Trade Spotlight Futures, Trade Spotlight Commodity Options, and Trade Spotlight Future Spreads. Uh, beyond the Spotlight is, is a video that I produce highlighting two or three markets that may become trading opportunities for this week. This week begins with November 16th, 2020. So we're a couple weeks past the U.S. election, uh, potentially getting into some normal market conditions, although we're still dealing with the coronavirus pandemic uh, and um, fallout from that. So might still be some time before we're back to normal market conditions, uh, whatever that is, actually. But before we jump into the charts, please pause the video and read the disclosures to understand the risks involved with futures and commodity options trading. All right, let's jump into our first chart here. This is the December 2020 30-year Treasury bonds. I'm looking for a trade to the upside in the bonds market. We've had a sell-off from a 12-month contract high uh, in August, in the middle of the summer, uh, down here to the end of the fall here. Uh, we traded as low as uh, that 12-month contract low of 169.16, made on the 11th of November. Uh, market has sold off last couple days after hitting a 20-day moving average, but you can see the momentum is starting to pick up to the upside, and the uh, downside trend is waning, uh, almost becoming a, a neutral trend. So what I'm looking for is an opportunity to set up a long trade. Once I have the MACD indicator showing me we're transitioning to an uptrend, and like to see maybe the 20-day moving average, 50-day moving average hook up a bit, so there could be a little bit more consolidation down this, this level uh, before the indicators line up to the upside. And hopefully that'll set up a nice pivot point entry uh, to get long. Uh, we can look at the 176 level as a potential target or even this 12-month contract high. Uh, on a futures trade, stops can go below the 12-month contract low depending on where the entry sets up. I'm not sure I'd like to have a uh, three-handle risk on a, a futures contract if we're looking to buy. Uh, so perhaps another pivot point low would set up another stop-loss opportunity. Uh, so this is the December 2020 30-year Treasury bonds looking for a trade to the upside. Next chart I want to look at is March 2021 Silver. I have a large uh, pennant formation drawn off. Not many touches, though. Uh, I've got about three touches on the upside, a lot more touches on the, on the downside, but that's recently. Uh, so not a, a strong pennant formation. Uh, it's almost like a, a flag formation, too, because we had the rally here uh, back in uh, the middle of the summer, June, July, uh, going into August. So it's more of a flag or formation than a pennant, but not strong, kind of loose uh, formation. You can see all the moving averages are consolidating here. I've got a 20-day, a 50-day, and an 89-day moving average all around this area, all around the 25 price level. Uh, this lower trend line is holding, though. Uh, so you can see we bounced off there today, but fell short of that 89-day moving average so far in, in the session. Perhaps a break of this pivot point high, and that high is from the 9th of November at 26.27 could set up a trade to the upside. You can see the momentum is up. This is my stochastics indicator. My trend indicator of MACD is flat, however, and that makes sense. We've been consolidating within this range here uh, for the better part of a, of a month. Um, so looking for a trade to the upside in the March 2021 silver, perhaps looking to the option side or a future spread just to limit the risk on this volatile market. The third and last chart I want to take a look at for this video is January 2021 soybean meal. Uh, bean meal was quite parabolic uh, going back. You can even go back to this August low. That 12-month contract low comes in at 287.90. 
that was August 10th. You can see we got up to uh, 400. That 12 month contract high that was put in last week was 399.80.8. So we just set, we fell two ticks short of that 400 level. So I'm actually looking for an opportunity to sell this market, uh, perhaps on a, uh, a break of this lower trend line. Uh, you can see my momentum is down. My trend indicator is shifting down. So we've got those lined up. Uh, 20 day moving average, a 50 day and a 200 are all pointed up. Would like to see those roll over. It might take a break and a close below this trend line for that to occur. But once that occurs, uh, we're looking to uh, get short this market. An upside stop loss makes sense above the 12 month contract high or maybe some of these highs depending on where the sell entry comes in. Uh, downside target, there's a lot to go. And you can draw off a 50% Fibonacci retracement uh, on this chart. Uh, let's say I don't have it on this chart here, but the 50% Fibonacci retracement comes in at 342.80. Uh, so you're looking at this level here, uh, potentially a support level. Uh, that would be a nice downside, initial downside target for a short entry. Again, it depends on where the market closes below this lower trend line, which can come uh, early this week, uh, the way the market has sold off late last week. Uh, so keep an eye out for the January 2021 soybean meal uh, trade opportunity potentially coming this week. This is a, a quick look at what the advisory service looks like. It's an email sent directly to your inbox with a, a timestamp of when the trade recommendation uh, comes out. There's a write-up of the trade, the precise entry and exit orders, so you know the risk reward parameters for each recommendation, uh, any print information like option expiration dates and deltas and open interest, and a chart that you can click to enlarge. It, the Trade Spotlight is a, a free service to clients of mine and the firm. Uh, if you'd like to check it out, you can do a free 90-day free trial. Uh, just go to the Daniels Trading webpage, click on Advisories, then under Technical Analysis, you'll find Trade Spotlight. You can read more about it, take a look at recent posts, and subscribe. Again, free for 90 days. Here's all my contact information. If you have any questions on the three charts I discussed today or just markets or trading in general, thank you for taking the time to watch and listen and happy trading.